Across the room, across the street, I'm watching you, watching me. So Hello, Jed Gottlieb, Boston Herald, here with Dave Monroe of Air Traffic Controller for another guest list of guitar. How are you, sir? Great. Thanks came, for having you me. came right from the studio, or are you going right to the studio? I'm a, I'm, this is on my way to the studio. Right, nice, nice. Um, okay, studio, songwriter, here's my segue. A bunch of your songs, when I think of like um, The House or Hurry Hurry or whatever, um, there's a lot of production that goes on. And I mm -hmm. wonder when you write those songs, if you kind of have parts in mind or, 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 or things, or you're just like, I just got to write a good song and then we'll build it up from there. What's your process? That Basically the latter. It's, yeah. it's that I just try to get a song that uh, I can get across in an acoustic environment, just yeah. uh, have the guitar and sing and have it still be good. Yeah. Um, and then we just have so many ideas in studio, like in hooks and things flying around, that, yeah. and uh, uh, just a mad scientist kind of producer like Blue. Yeah. That, um, that yeah, we just we don't redo acoustic demos. We just no. really build it up. Do you have any sense of like, oh, this is going to do really well, or like, you know what, I like this song, but this will probably sit back. It probably won't. It won't, you know, be huge. Can you tell or not really what's going to hit? Um. I mean, the excitement are, are in the room. Yeah. A lot of times we just yell out stuff like, it's going to be huge. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I think I've learned to, to not, you know, expect that. Yeah. I mean, we've succeeded to some degree, but, you know, we, we want, we, we're certainly not full of ourselves and think that, you know, we're capable of being chart toppers or anything yeah. like that. Cause, we're not there yet. We, got, we need the exposure, and and yeah. uh, and uh, we appreciate things like this to, yeah, to, yeah. to help. Tell me a little bit about um, your first songs that you wrote, and uh, sort of when you first got the bug, and you felt like oh, I could do this. Were there a lot of tough beginnings? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I was in the Navy working yeah. as an air traffic controller, and I just had a lot of time on my hands and uh, a lot of stuff on my mind and I had a little a little four track machine I'm sure you've seen those yeah. uh, little task cam tape th player things and uh, I would just um, kind of stuff with just melodies and things that are just kind of popping into my head yeah um, which is uh, I guess in the early looking back now like that was a very convenient thing where now I'm kind of like more digging for ideas, but then I get to refine them more and stuff. There's definitely benefits to where where I'm at now. Yeah. But the way things just used to fly into my lap back then was really cool. Um, and I think that happens with a lot of songwriters. And then once you develop it, then you need to start creating it and making those things happen. Uh, who's to say what a hit is anymore? But you've had some hits. Like You've had some songs that have done really well on Spotify, really well on YouTube, um, some radio play. What, does that get in your head at all when you're writing the next song that you're like, oh, I, I, I got to write something similar to this or I can't write anything similar to this? Does that corrode the process or make it tricky in any way? Uh, it does trip you up a little bit yeah. because some of, those, some of those things do happen again and I'm like, I'm like, wait, wait, we've done this before. Yeah. And then you just start to think of other artists that have that do things again and again yeah. and uh, and you you hope for you hope for that a lot of two chord three chord four chord songs that you're doing are progressions mm -hmm. and when i do them they don't sound as good as <laughs> when you do them what what do you think the tr what do you, what's the trick for getting people excited about their writing i'd say i mean don't worry so much about the chords no. um i i think you know later on um, in songwriting, I think you can, like we're, we're writing a new song now where we wanted to just step outside of our box and do something completely different. No. So we, we, we put down co we just chords and yeah. then we wrote a song on top of it, which I never ever do. Yeah. But, um, but, and it's coming out great, but I think where, where my strengths lie and I think where 
most songwriters should look for uh, to develop it would be within their uh, storytelling mm -hmm. and uh, the, the concept yeah the title even yeah. um, is a good place to start and then and just tell tell that story I think that's gonna and and, and, and work on the melody and stuff like that and then kind of I, I like that that the song started there and then I had to figure out how to play it I just yeah. I just feel like that's how I was able to connect with people because not not everybody's looking for what chords you're playing. Mm -hmm. so they just want to hear a song and they, they want to connect. Yeah. Across the room, across the street, I'm watching you, watching me. So is that all there is to see? Are these your only memories? Are you the fly that's on the wall? You can't be caught, you never fall Hiding in secret from us all Who can you trust? Who will you call? There was a time you could do you Now all you do is people watch You people watch, that's all you do You loved and lost, you people watch 